So what are the physical components of Veritas cluster server software? Let's find out in this lecture. First of all, we have VCS nodes. The VCS nodes are key component of a cluster in order to form the Veritas cluster, two or more nodes, which can be physical or virtual machine. And they host the service groups or also known as applications. Each system is then connected to the networking hardware as well as the storage. One important thing to remember in the VCS nodes is that each node should have the operating system of similar type. To form a cluster, you cannot mix a Windows or Linux operating systems together. So, each node within a single cluster should have same operating systems. The VCS software can support up to 64 nodes. Shared storage from physical point of view is another key component which VCS relies on. All nodes should have access to the shared storage if you want to manage the applications without any issues. Usually, in order to deal with the storage problems, companies deploy storage area network as an idle solution. Chances are that data can be corrupted on shared storages, so IO fencing is used for data protection. We will discuss IO fencing later in the course. Another major component we have is the networking. The networking makes sure there is a communication happening between the nodes and to the client machines. Veritas cluster uses LLT and group membership services and atomic broadcast. The low latency transport provides fast kernel to kernel communication. In Veritas clusters, communication happens over private links. You can configure up to eight private links for nodes. LLT is responsible for sending and receiving the heartbeats over those networks and it distributes the load over private network connections. Whenever a heartbeat is not received, LLT updates the group membership services part of the GAV, which in turn updates the cluster membership. Based on the defined actions, GAV updates the VCS, then VCS takes the corrective actions. Group membership services and atomic broadcast has two major functions as well. First, it is responsible to update the cluster membership whenever a heartbeat is not received or anything happens to the nodes. Everything is updated within the cluster right away by GAP. Another major function is the broadcast of the messages with the granted delivery. GAV is responsible to make sure each node in the cluster receives the broadcast message. You can find the configuration files for LLT under ETC, LLT hosts, and LLT tab files. Similarly, the GAV configuration files can be found under ETC GAV tab. IO fencing is a method of preventing data corruption in a quorum type functionality. The data corruption happens when split of the private network happens. Split of the private network happens when nodes they lose the communication in between them let's try to understand it with an example let's say we have a two nodes cluster node one is running the application node one is marked as blue node and node two is marked as red node they both have access to the shared storage if in case for some reason the heartbeat links between the nodes fail both nodes will think that they are the only survivor members of the cluster. In that case, node 2 will also try to bring up the application online. Since node 1 was already online and was accessing the shared storage, this may corrupt the data because node 2 will be accessing the same storage. This is exactly where IO fencing comes into place to prevent the data corruption. In case of disk IO fencing, three or more coordinator disks are aligned. Whenever split brain happens such that the private connection links are disabled or they are offline for some reason between the nodes, each node before touching the data disk runs to the coordinated disk. Initially, when the cluster just starts, each node registers itself in the coordinated disk. After the split brain happens, each node runs to the coordinated disk to erase the entries for the other node. Whichever node runs faster and reaches First, to the coordinator disk, it starts erasing the entries. With the majority of the boats in all three coordinator disks, that node gets to turn on the application. In short, a node with the majority boats in coordinator disk wins and get to turn on the application and further it access the data storage.